betide any soldier who drops his ramrod. You have to dismount and get it, and that will prove difficult in battle, so I suspect any old soldier will tuck a spare ramrod or two in their boot tops. We're doing this on a nice quiet day, with a fairly gentle audience in front of them. Imagine this being done on the battlefield with the constant crack and rattle of musketry, the thunder and screech of cannonballs, the horses will be more excited, dancing around on the spot. Loading a pistol or a carbine under those conditions is an entirely different prospect. But of course, training like this and discharging your firearms is important. The horses must get used to the sound of pistol and musket fire. Otherwise, they will be no good on a battlefield. And I'm sure you'll agree our horses today are beautifully mannered, going very well indeed. And the parade ground precision is evident. That could all change, of course, when we discharge our pistols. But I have faith in our troopers and their stout troop horses. So we are about to fire the pistols. So do stand by. You may wish to cover your ears if you are of a nervous disposition. Here they come. Stand by. Once they pick up the pace, they're into the canter. Point pistols. I think a round of applause there. Only a couple of gallopers and only one hat lost.